Hey everyone, this is Scrap Computer here. This is going to be a quick tip covering pre-potting or pre-healing using items or consumables to give yourself an advantage before and or during fights. This used to be extremely prevalent and very important in seasons one, two, and three, and for some reason has died out anywhere past that. So it's so important, I just wanted to cover it again to make sure everyone knows about it. So let's get into it. I'll cover potion consumables first. In a fight you can make your theoretic maximum amount of HP higher, meaning your enemy has to take away more. If you have a crystalline flask or a HP potion, you can activate these before or during a fight to gain HP back while you're fighting. This means you're healing up constantly while doing this. As you can see below I used the HP potion before I went in for the fight. During the entire engagement I'm healing up with this HP potion. This is called pre-potting. If I get the use out of the entire potion throughout the fight, I've theoretically increased my health by 150 because 150 is giving back during the fight and during the potion use. This can massively increase your chances of winning close fights in all ins and especially start game where everyone's got very minimal HP. If you're healing up during a fight, you're constantly regenerating 150. That's pretty much an auto attack and a half or an ability from someone's start game. So it, this is vitally important to winning those all ins and this is a really common tactic that just not enough people are using. Anytime you want it all in, take your potion just before the fight begins or after you've taken your first bit of damage. You can't take your potion unless you've actually lost HP, so do it as soon as you get the engagement. This is extremely underused tactic and extremely undervalued, especially start game. People disregard this massively. This used to be discussed and acknowledged as a core mechanic of the game throughout seasons 1, 2 and 3 and in season 4 it was just dropped off the face of the earth. This tactic will win you more all-ins than you can even imagine. This is extremely important especially with those sustained fight trades like in bot lane, top lane and of course jungle fights. Mid lane is based upon burst damage but it can still be used there. Another tactic separate from this one is of course using Catalyst and Rod of Ages. This item, once you level up, will gain you 150 HP and 200 mana over 8 seconds. Although not a lot, you can use this to proc during fights to win more fights. Basically, just before you go in and just before you're about to level up or during a fight and you know you'll, a minion will die near you, go for an all in. If the Callus is procced just before you go all in and you just got your level, you will be getting 150 free HP and 200 mana. During the all in you'll be receiving these valuable resources, giving you more in each regard. You will be healing during the fight, basically just as you level go in for an all in. For the most part. This point is useful for any champion you can use this item but it's even more useful, I want to emphasize this, uh, on a champion like Swain who needs mana and requires himself to sustain over long periods of time. This tactic alone is one most any good Swain player will be using. Go in, on top of your sustain, on the top of the fact you have lowish mana, Catalyst will be proc'd and sustain you up for both of these. Any champion that uses Rod of Ages works, but I want to emphasize this on Swain. You can also add in a Catalyst proc'd and pre-pot at the same time to give you insane amounts of regained HP, which can nearly, in some cases, make you almost unkillable in comparison to your enemy. These points can win you so many all-ins, they can get you so many free kills, they can get you away in a large period of time, so try and use these if you ever can, especially in combination, uh, but separately they're still really good tactics. Using these tactics can give you an all-in edge to win fights. I really can't describe how useful this is. When you start doing it, you're going to realize you're winning more all-ins than you ever were, or even trades. A last snippet, you can use Elixir of Rune during burst damage coming your way or during a fight to give yourself more tankiness, making you harder to kill. Just a, wanted a, a very small snippet on that extra item. So if you're about to get burst down by an Annie, proc your Elixir of Rune as the first ability hits and you'll get a lot of HP back, making you harder to burst down. Overall, use potions to pre-pot on all rolls just before you fight. In addition, you can also use Catalyst to have the same effect when you level, or you can combine the two. These, this tactic, again guys, is so important. And that's it for the guide guys, I hope you liked it. If you like it, like it, dislike it, dislike it. If you like the content, subscribe. And if you think it's really horrible, you can unsub, I'm totally fair if you already were subscribed. Besides this guys, have a great day, and as always, best of luck in the Rift.